Hello Capricorn, this is Julie with Into Heart Space looking at the energy of November. If you haven't already, go check out the collective poll. This is the foundational energy that everyone will feel, feel, whether it's personally or through friends and family or people you love. And I don't know if you can hear it in the background, there's like some techno music going. And I, uh, it's a neighbor of mine who is outside working on juggling. <laughs> And so I can't even get mad because I'm so proud of them for, you know, working on their craft and doing something that a lot of people wouldn't do. Um, I mean, it's, you know, I'm trying to get readings done, but, uh, you know, it makes me smile that, you know, she's out there and working so hard. And so let's just, you know, take the, the, the music in the background, if you can hear it, as uh, sweetly as possible as a... Uh, one of our fellow humans works on creating arts and beauty in the world. And laughter. Juggling brings laughter, too. All right, so let's call in the highest of energy. Call in the divine. Energy for Capricorn. Capricorn sun, rising moon. Calling in the highest of light. What energy for November, November of 2017. All right, so, one, two, three. okay. And the energy coming in from October into November is the sun reverse. So having the sun reverse is still very positive. Uh, you know, you're shining brightly, you are, but maybe not as brightly as you had anticipated. With the sun in reverse, it's like it's coming in, but not as quickly, not as vibrantly as you had hoped, but it's still there. It's taking a little bit more work and effort to get to the space of the sun. Then we have three of swords reversed, ten of cups, seven of swords reversed, and five of cups reversed, four of swords reversed. The moon reversed, wow, lots of reversals. Eight of cups reversed, and six of swords reversed, and then two of swords and five of staffs. Okay. All right, so luckily we do have the 10 of cups in, in this reading, which is always really positive about feeling content, successful, and getting to that space. And you know what? So November is kind of like your victory lap. It really is, because with all these reversals, we have the Three of Swords reversed. And this is, you know, um, betrayal. It can be a, th a third party, but it's done with. It's like the swords are coming out of your heart. You're leaving it in the past. It's no longer affecting you to the great depth that it was um, yesterday. And we also have the Seven of Cups flanking the Ten of Cups as well. So like Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you know, those two, um, those two cards are deceit and stealing. <laughs> you know, you've been surrounded by this. You've been surrounded by it and it's been kind of affecting you in a way and not allowing all of the yumminess to, to, to prosper. And that's probably why the, the sun was in reverse. It's like it's there, but it's just, you know, you've just had to deal with some pretty crummy people. And, and the five of cups is, um, you know, once again, it's reversed. So I have faith in you, Capricorn, that you're actually seeing the beauty of the situation, seeing what's happening, and uh, enjoying it. But... For some of you, there is, you know, a few of you who just can't even see that beauty. You know, you're pouring out your gratitude. It's like the cups are upside down and you're turning it upside down and like, I don't need this beauty. I'm sick of it. I'm throwing out everything. Just, I don't want any of it, good and bad. I'm sick of it all, you know. But I, I'm going to focus more on the people who are actually seeing the beauty and seeing the hope and the joy in it and like being and willing to share it. Okay, four of swords in reverse is like it's time to get to work. It's time to get up and not let the, the emotions get the best of you. Because the moon in reverse is like 
can symbolize depression, can symbolize anxiety. And with the Two of Swords, too, it's just, it could be that you're re it's really hard for you to see. It's really hard for you to see your life and your situation as the Ten of Cups because you have been surrounded by uh, a lot of deceit from someone. And the interesting thing is there's no one popping up in this reading. There's no Knights, no Queens, no Pages, no Kings. No one's popping up, and the only major arcana card we have is the moon. So this is all up to you. You know, this is all within you. So you have full control over November and how it's going to turn out. We do have the sun, but that's uh, the energy of October, so it's already happened. You know, it's like, are you going to let go of, of that person who cheated on you? Are you going to let go of that Seven of Swords, uh, someone who took something from you? Because it already happened. It's And now you're just holding on to the memory of it. So let it go. And I can understand why you haven't let it go yet, because you just don't know what's going to happen in the future. Like, you feel like you always have to fight for what you want. You always have to fight to be successful. But you have to let it go. Like, the Six of Swords here, in reverse, is just like being stagnant, not being able to move on. And it, But once again, this is all you. This has nothing to do with anyone else. So it makes me think that relationships are okay. It makes me think that work is okay. But there's a lot of inner turmoil going on because of things that have already happened in the past. And so that is what's coloring your decisions in November. But also the moon in reverse is, um, is a fog, is, like I said, can be, you know, depression. So ask for help if you need it. Like, if you can't get out of this this rut that you're in, the Four of, of Swords reversed, ask for help. Seek professional help. Seek someone who can kind of alleviate your situation and give you a pause and give you an out. Give you, um, you know, just a ladder to, to climb. Because we also have a lot of sword energy happening mixed with cups. You know, it's all swords and cups. Well, we do have the staffs down here, and I'll talk about this in just a minute. But other than that, it's all mental and emotional, and it's this conflict, this inner turmoil with the mind and the heart. Like, you know what you need to do, but you, you can't do it because emotionally you feel stuck. And then this five of staffs down here is fighting, fight, fight, fight. And a lot of signs have been getting this. And I feel like it's because in the U.S. we're coming around to Thanksgiving and the holidays and families fight at that time. You know, we have different generations, different perspectives, and we all feel that we're right. And so sometimes instead of coming together and saying, teach me what you see, let me see it from your eyes, we go, screw your eyes, I'm right. <laughs> What you see is wrong. You're out of date. <laughs> you know? So there's, I, I feel like this year, more than others, um, there's going to be a lot of conflict around the Thanksgiving table. But it's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to you whether or not you're going to hold that conflict or if you're going to let it go and say, nope, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy what's happening in my life. And yeah, I had some I had some tough situations already happen, but I'm not going to let that be my future. All right, so let's call on the Mother Wisdom deck for some added guidance, Capricorn. Okay, before I call in the Mother Moon aspect, like this is such an, an a phys not a physical, but a mental block on your part, like. Nothing can come in. Nothing, that's why all of, no one came in. Is because you have to get past this personal block first. You've got to do your work before anyone else joins you. Or any other situations join you. Because this is all individually you. And your, your happiness and your joy depends on you letting go of this. 
of, of the, the deceit and the pain like I already said. Okay, so Mother Moon. Oh, it's upside down and it's in cursive, so I can't read it. Hold on. Um, Artemisia. Artemisia. Well, I'm going to say Artemis because it's Artemis, you know? Creativity. Artemis. Okay. So let's see what is in here for you. Despite the odds stacked against her, Artemisia had a vocation that she could not deny. In 17th century Italy, she was the rare woman to be recognized as an accomplished professional artist. She painted sensual portraits of powerful women and was not afraid to present bold female interpretations of traditional themes. As an unconventional artist and mother, Artemisia relished the opportunity to pass her love of painting along to her daughters. Her passion is Artemisia's message. Whether your artistic talent is latent or prolific, drawing this card indicates a creative breakthrough. Oh, they just gave you the, the solution. All right, this card is your solution. All right, because I'm sitting here going, the block, there's such a block. What are we going to do with this block, Capricorn? You're going to write. You are going to dance. You are going to paint. You are going to create sculptures. You're going to do something creative. Needlepoint, knitting, I don't care. Whatever your heart desires. Underwater basket weaving, whatever. You need to do that in November to break this cycle, to have a break, to express yourself, to realize how creative and how uh, full you are with color and vigor and beauty. Like channel your Venus in November and this will break the cycle for you. Mm. Okay, I am excited. All right, you guys can send me some art. Um, you can definitely do that. I'm going to start giving, I'm getting a P.O. box so that you guys can send me um, letters, suggestions, anything you want. If you have decks that you want me to use online um, during the readings, let me know. Just send them to me. So I'll put that out in a few bits. Um, that's total side note. But Capricorn, be creative. Go for it. Remember, listen to your heart and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.